Let's zoom in and get to this. No, really, that's really it. It's only one set of chords. We got A minor, F, C, and G. That's it. Is the same picking pattern on the bottom three strings. Just the top note moves around depending on which chord you're on, which root note you have to hit. So, for instance, on the A minor, we're gonna go A, D, Now an A minor chord is just first finger, first fret, B string. These two guys are in the second fret and it's gonna be on the D and the G string and you hit from the A string down. Now the next chord is an F chord. You can do it bar from the first fret E to E and then the second finger is gonna be on the G string second fret. These two guys, ring and pinky, are going to be on the third fret of the A and the D. Now, I'm doing this chord like this. I use my thumb, and I'm only going to be worried about the D, G, and B strings anyway, so I cheat. So there you have it. I'm a cheater. So next, we got the C chord, and it's going to have the same picking pattern as the first one which is gonna be A, D, B, G. Now you're gonna have your third finger, third fret A, second finger, second fret D, first finger, first fret B. Same picking pattern. Then we're gonna go up to a G chord. Now all you really need to worry about for this particular part is fingers two and three, both on the third fret, E and B. Now no one's gonna chord foul. 10 yard penalty. No one's gonna care, right? So you can just do that. Now the traditional G chord would be more like this, which we will use in another part of the song. So anyways, the beginning, the intro, real basic, right? Now what you wanna make sure, the only thing you gotta kinda watch out for is between the F and the C chord. Keep fingers one and two down and then actually move your third finger and then start it before you move up your next finger because you want the uh, B and the G to ring out. Other than that, that's it.